the not regrettable decision is supporting Tinumbu. Welcome to the news and thank you for tuning in to listen. Please subscribe to our channel. To get notified when we post our juicy news update, please click on the notification bell. The Northern leaders made a grave error by throwing their support behind Tinumbu, a decision they now deeply regret. Tinumbu cornily deceived them, pretending to be incapacitated and unintelligible as if his mental faculties were impaired, the Northern leaders bought into this act, assuming that Tinubu would be unable to wield any influence, allowing them to take control. However, once the election were over, Tinubu suddenly transformed, discarding his previous incoherent demeanor. He started taking decisive action against Northern leaders. He first of all cast Erufai aside, then eliminated four subsidies, leading to a significant rise in fuel prices in the north. He also replaced Northerners in key positions with individuals from his own ethnic group, affecting sectors like customs and petroleum. Tinubu even appointed a Southerner as the Minister of the Federal Capital Territory, FCT, demonstrating that Abuja is a national asset, unlike the past where it was primarily controlled by Northerners. Strikingly, Tunubu's decision diverged from his stance in Lagos, where he retained control for the Yoruba community. In that sense, Lagos is considered Yoruba territory, while Abuja is seen as a neutral ground. Tunubu not only appointed a South Arab, but also selected an individual perceived as unconventional, a madman who recently seized and destroyed over 500 motorcycles primarily owned by Northerners. Furthermore, another Yoruba figure closely aligned with Tunumbu openly advocated for Nigeria's restructuring, echoing sentiments similar to Namdi Kano, the prominent secessionist leader currently in custody. Many Northern leaders find themselves in a state of uncertainty, unsure of how to confront the monster they once nurtured, but that is now, but that is now turning against them. The last hope appears to be the tribunal as they seek a way out of their predicament. Hmm. I love this person's style of writing, Sha. Now, the thing is, when they say somebody is a master strategist, when it comes to chess, he is the king and the queen. <laughs> you know, eh? Ah, the northern as Cabo, eh? Kuse, well done, eh? Nado, eh? Thank you, eh? <laughs> Okay, oh, on a good morning, you know, thank you, that's welcome to Jagaba Network. I'll be now. Hmm. Hmm. The fools want to ridicule not because the campaign slogan by Ibos was Tunubu is not well. The writer just left asylum. Well, um, first of all, oh, and nobody not on a write this thing, oh, this thing now, nah, no nah, problem. Nah, this, this person just won't find trouble. This is me. Also, you know, just playing along. Nothing more. They must not dare say anything. There is nothing bad in what Tunumbu is doing. Exactly. He must trust his rare friends and enemies. It is no more news that some of them are not hiding their game plan against Tunumbu. But Almighty God is the best decider. They ought to tolerate him because he supported Buhari during his own terms for peace to reign. True. True. You must give Tunubu maximum support. This one, uh, very true. When Tunubu was very, very true, he's a supporter. I know see the time when Tunubu come as I come, come as I come, condemn, waiting, uh, waiting the column, Buhari do. I did not see. Why did your brother Buhari do when he was there? He appointed all his brother to key positions upon the shouting he did not change. You people have not seen anything. Oh, you should have thanked Tonumbu for still looking at you people face. No more born to run. Wonder well. Okay. Bobo slept half of his tenure ruling via special assistant. Nonsense talk. Have Southerners not supported the North for eight years? Stop a divisive and inciting comments. I am not a Tonumbu's fan, but the North is not the owner of Nigeria. And that is on period. If what you said is what Tunubu is doing, I wouldn't mind you begin. I wouldn't mind begin to support Tunubu for those Northerners to sink under the ground for the selfishness and inordinate ambitions. Nevertheless, I am strictly obedient. Okay, I wish Tunubu won the election. That is the problem. 
even though he didn't win truly, Obi won this election. Wahala. Whoever the author is should be divide it should be invited by the DSS. Oh. Look you. My friend, Abuja does not belong to either region. It is a natural sector. It's a national center. Therefore, anybody from either direction can be FCT minister. I am a northerner, but this is the truth. Avoid sentiments, please. Okay. If you said this, what can you say of the S.Y. Kabisa City in Nigeria, Lagos? Can God bless you, sir? More blessing to you. Okay. Grow up and stop disgracing yourself in the public. Wala wa. You so-called northerners are bunches of greedy fellows. Where were you when Buhari turned Nigeria into a northern country by um, by giving almost all appointments to northerners? You people have not seen anything. This is a southerner in charge and not a hypocrite like your brother Buhari. No regret anyway. It is all politics and self-interest. When Bubu was president, how many how many northerners were playing? Hmm? How many northerners were enjoying? When Bubu was president, how many northerners were enjoying? Was it not in Bubu's time that the highest number of northerners were slaughtered? The leaders complaining now should give peace a chance. If the tribunal says Bola and Chernobyl should remain, so be it. <laughs> okay. It is, I think it's unfair to other geopolitical zones to wrongly believe in a fallacy that the North is totally against the loose concept bandaged around as restructuring. What the North is against is forcing down an undefined idea down the street. Nation building is a dynamic process which dissolves negotiation and cancerous building and not trust, intimidation and insult. <laughs> All right. Use this northern as a more a mere parasite. They have nothing to offer. Lumping us together as one country. All right. Um.